You know what, guys? Black men have been waking up. Black men have been waking up for quite a while now. The Democrats have been losing the black vote. And they actually prop up an Indian American in Kamala Harris. And they're promoting her as black. When Kamala Harris has identified as Indian American throughout her whole entire life. Remember, she was actually raised by her Indian family. And for the most part, guys, she actually grew up in Canada. So actually, guys, when she was on that debate stage and slamming Joe Biden for busing, and rightly so, she was not actually affected by that because she didn't go, go to school in the United States. She was in Canada. So she lied on that debate stage, even though she was right about uh, Joe Biden being a racist. But however, she went and worked for the old white races. But anyway, guys, I believe, man, that the Democratic Party and the media propagandists out there trying to push Kamala Harris as a black woman is backfiring, it's especially with black men, guys. Now, black women, man, they're lost cause. OK, Democrats really had nothing to gain with black women when it actually came to um, putting Kamala Harris on the ticket. Because black women were going to vote blue no matter who, more than any demographic in the United States. That's sad to say, man. Now, Trump getting uh, roughly like a 20 percent of the black vote, that is mainly coming from black men. Now, there's no doubt about it, guys, that uh, Trump actually has uh, black women supporting him. At that rally in uh, Georgia, he actually brought on uh, the black lady from the Chick-fil-A in that uh, video that went viral, she actually spoke at the um, rally and she destroyed Kamala Harris, guys. Destroyed the Democrats, too. But we need to react to this uh, clip, guys, of this black barbershop. They weighed in on whether or not Kamala Harris is black with CNN. And CNN is stunned because these, I believe, it was four or five black men said no. Kamala Harris is not black. Let's get into it, guys. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. If you're watching on Rumble, click the join button to get access to the same thing. And everyone can also support us by becoming a member on blackandwhitenetwork.com or supporting us on Locals, both for just $5 per month. Check the links in the description. So here we go. Check this out. To me, no. Black guys at Pennsylvania Barbershop tell reporter Kamala Harris isn't black. Yeah. And by the way, guys. All of these guys here, you only see three of them, but it, but the barber also. They're not voting Kamala Harris. They're not necessarily voting Trump either. But however, and I don't have the clip pulled up. The barber actually used to work for Donald Trump. Now, he definitely sounds like he's going to uh, vote for uh, Donald Trump. But in a way, guys, I believe these guys right here, they're somewhat kind of intimidated also about um, supporting Trump. They were also a little timid, I believe, on whether or not to say that Kamala Harris isn't black. But once one of them came out, the rest of them got very, very confident in a green. A lot of black people, man, don't believe that Kamala Harris is black because we already know her mother is Indian from India. There's pictures out there of Kamala Harris uh, with the red dot. She's on video promoting her Indian heritage. Don't have a problem with that. But her father is Indian and Irish. No black ancestors. So how in the world does she become black? These guys essentially are um, agreeing with Donald Trump. And none of these guys also believe that President Trump is racist either, even though the media has been trying to push that. So let's go ahead and uh, watch this uh, clip, guys, of um, CNN right here. And uh, let's go ahead and roll it. Negative story. Second, because he was narrow casting in the black community. Last week, before Trump appeared at the NABJ, Joel D, 
A Harrisburg, Pennsylvania CBS network anchor went to a central Pennsylvania barber shop seeking some candid conversation. Among the revelations that some of the black men that he interviewed did not regard Harris as black. Is Kamala going to make you uh, a little more likely or less likely to vote Democrat? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, first, Ray, hold on, Ray. Is, is Kamala black? Yes or no? I'm going to let her speak on that. <laughs> but to me, no. Oh, is I Kamala black? Yes or no? I share that same view. Wow. <laughs> is Kamala black? Yes or no? I heard she was. I heard she's half black and half Asian. When I played that audio on my Sirius XM radio program on Thursday, many callers who self-identified as African-American were quick to tell me that those men were the exception, not the rule. Some described them as low-information voters, no different than you'd find among whites. Trump is outperforming other Republican presidential candidates for the black vote. Yeah, so... You saw that right there, guys. You saw that right there. CNN had to say, oh, black people calling in saying that um, th those guys are low information voters, man. I don't think so. I really don't think so, man. But, you know, CNN has to actually get that propaganda in there. OK. Kamala Harris never identified as black until it was time to run for president. Just that simple. Kamala Harris also, guys, never lived the black experience growing up. Like I said, she grew up with her Indian family. She grew up in Canada. Yeah. So what? She went to an HBCU. So what? A lot of white people go to HBCUs. Everybody knows the uh, the Gremlin and uh, Southern bands. They got white people in the band. White people love those bands. You got white people on the football team. I'm pretty sure you got white professors just because it says HBCU doesn't mean anything. There's also Asians that attend HBCUs. She's an AKA. So what? It's mostly a black sorority, but that doesn't mean that it's all black. Doesn't mean anything, man. Kamala Harris is a complete fraud. And uh, Judge Joe Brown, man, has been doing great work exposing the truth about Kamala Harris. You see, guys, Kamala Harris cannot run on her record. So the Democrats, man, are just propping her out there to do identity politics. But what is her actual policies? We know her true policies, man. Her true policies are policies are communists. Kamala Harris is a communist, man. It's just that simple. Now, the uh, support that Kamala Harris actually has, if you were to ask the average Kamala Harris, quote unquote, supporter, because we know um, she really didn't have that much support on what they actually um, support her for. I'm on the bet, guys. They can't name one single policy. And now you actually have Kamala Harris out there. Um, ducking away from uh, Donald Trump with the Fox News debate. She doesn't want to debate anything. I'm starting to think, guys, probably no debate is going to happen. Because uh, Kamala Harris, man has to defend the Biden-Harris administration's um, policies that have failed the United States. She can't win on the policies. The Democrats can't win on the policies. They know that. And truly, guys, Democrats probably don't want her debating at all. But this um, whole charade about her being black, yeah, it's not working, guys. It is not working. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks.